It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And up next, we'll get a look at Patrick Mahomes. He's gone over 4,000 yards passing now for the year. It's the Browns and the Texans. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. It is week 16 in the NFL, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the Cleveland Browns taking on the Houston Texans. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Texan ball club entering play here. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. Meanwhile, for the Browns here, they've certainly found their groove of late, winners of five in a row. And I think the sky's the limit for this team. They're playing the best football that they've played in a long time. A happy Christmas Eve to all. What a good one we have in store as we are underway here in week 16. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. Bringing them out is the number one overall pick this year, Heisman Trophy winner at Alabama, Bryce Young. Anytime anyone throws for over 300 yards in a game, you know their name is going to be considered for Offensive Player of the Week. And in the AFC last week, our guy got it. Yeah, he was the guy on top of his game. He'll try to duplicate that here in this one. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 18 carries, 57 yards. And when he went over 1,000 yards last week, you know what it did for their offense? It gave them a true identity because everyone's going to talk about this. The offensive line's going to take pride in it. Of course, the guy carrying the football will. But how about the coaching staff? When they go in and talk contracts, when they talk to reporters, hey, we had a 1,000-yard rusher this year. That means something in today's NFL. Young on third down. That's complete to his running back, Taylor. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. Now it is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. Back deep here, Andre Roberts. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here is away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. So here are the Browns under head coach Kevin Stefanski. They'll be led out by someone who needs less introduction than any player in the league. A Super Bowl champion, the league's most valuable player for a second time, Patrick Mahomes. And I thought in last week's game, he found a way to win like a good pitcher without his best stuff. I mean, he did throw two interceptions, yeah. offset by one touchdown pass. Not the ratio, not the numbers you're really looking for as a QB. But finding a way to win, that's all that really matters. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Again, they run with Edmonds. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through for a solid game. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and ten. And see, you look at this defense, you know, what kind of pressure are they under trying to stop a team that has won five games in a row? Well, to me, it makes their job. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Joe Reed, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Browns get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are. But this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. 
And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Out now comes the Houston offense as you take a look at the playoff picture in the AFC. As the season winds down and you look at them in totality, you know, the offense has struggled. The defense has been pretty good, so I would imagine the changes this offseason may be more on the offensive side of the ball. And this is where we always hear the term complimentary football because, as you noted, the defense has played well enough for them to win games, and the offense has helped them back. So they've got to reward that defense by improving on offense. I don't know if you make a change of quarterback, running back, tight end. It doesn't matter. Get better players, better system, so they can play to the standards of the defense and to win column the result. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Here's Young from the shotgun. That is caught. And he is going to have the Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who goes to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. First and ten, Young. And no hesitations, they go right back to Kelsey. They'll have the out of bounds just shy of the 40. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Young off the play fake. That's to the veteran. It's Robert Woods. Now he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Good pick up there, 22. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense. He finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pin it back, and you end up getting the first down. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. And he'll get four there. Now the 12-yard line. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. That is brought down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. A much different second drive here, Charles. They go three and out the first time. This time, they've been able to sustain something downfield. And that's what often happens. You get the game started. You know, you have to get your footing underneath you. You have to get used to the flow of the game, the speed of the game. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Najee Harris, his third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Texans are an extra point away from evening this one up. And how nice is it to have a guy like Najee Harris in the backfield when you get down near the goal line? He can use his 230-plus pound frame to just get you those tough yards, and he finishes things off here with a touchdown run. Now Cade York for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So all even at 7 now as they kick it away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. He'll get this out wide to Penny. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. So the assignment, a tough one here for this defense. You've got a quarterback ranked in the top five in passing yards. What do they need to do to try to keep him under wraps? Well, they didn't sleep a whole lot getting ready for this. Well, I can guarantee you there's just so much to combat. 
think they're going to zero in on taking away his top target. Double, triple him if they have to. But the other guys rise up and try and beat them. They'll feel a whole lot better if those guys win in the routes instead of their number one guy. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. The numbers for him from a week ago. A boatload of carries, 127 yards. And the way they ran the ball last week has to bring a smile to the faces of the entire coaching staff because not only are they seeing a back pile of yardage, they're seeing an offensive line in sync, and that bodes well this late in the season. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Hey, look at the defense for these Texans. They enter play here 24th in the league against the run. One thing players always tell us is that they never really pay attention to numbers. I don't believe them for a second. <laughs> they know where they rank, okay? They're, they're, you know, they're not quite at the top, but they're far from the bottom. But let's face it, they got to move up. In order to do that, they got to look at each other and make sure everyone's taking care of their assignments in order to play the run better. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. And that is caught on the right sideline back out of bounds, says the man The throw took him a little too far at second down. Mahomes again here on second and ten. Short throw to Smith. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, this defense for the Texans, they were terrific in a win over Tennessee a week ago. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. And he missed it. He missed it just wide of that left upright. It's no good. And in this first quarter of play, this will remain a tie ball game. Looked like he might have overcompensated there for being on the right hash because you've got to make sure you get the angle right. But that time he started it too far left and winds up hooking it way too far. Houston set to take over. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And it's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48 yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. The Texans in trouble to start play, six and eight on the year. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And they were able to tough it out last week, a close one-score game. And those are the... And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Michael Dana, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Well, they were coming out of the 4-3 defensively, pressure coming off that right side from the DM. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right-handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest-paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. On second down, it's Taylor. And he's going to take this across the 15 in the Browns territory. 44 yards rushing for him now to this point. Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. Young to throw it. Up the man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 28. A good third down pickup of 20 yards. 
Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What did the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Ready for the second quarter from Houston. It's the Texans in possession of the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Brings up second and ten. At the 27 yard line. They go to the ground again with Taylor. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. This offense so far on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and eight. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. Now a first and ten at the 11. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Young now. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Brings up third down and four. Now here's Young. Touchdown, Texans! Alec Pierce, a five-yard touchdown. And the Texans have taken the lead. So a nice touchdown pass for the rookie there. And you know, as they go down the stretch, look, they're not a playoff team. This is just confidence building and growth time for him, right? Yes, yeah, the game within the game, isn't it? Because every team wants to win all games on their schedule. But the development of this rookie quarterback is paramount for this team. So you're exactly right. Every rep, doesn't matter what the game, what the situation, what the score, valuable for him, valuable for his team as they look towards next year. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And Roberts choosing not to bring this one out. Another opportunity now for the Browns offense. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that. And maybe they get this game tied up. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Edmonds running out of the shotgun. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third manageable with that run. This offense back to needing 10 yards after the false start. Third and 10. Mahomes going to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. A big play that time for Cleveland. 44 yards. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. To throw, it's Mahomes. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. 
that's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Barreling in for the sack, Shelby Harris. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle and Franklin partner. It's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play action for him. He'll get this underneath to Edmonds. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Rock the ball of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? The kick by Lutz is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14 10. So he missed his first attempt, remember, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. Yeah, and sometimes that first one can really impact you moving forward. It can just stay with you too long and affect everything else you do during the game. In this case, though, able to shake it off. He's riding high again. Here comes Jonathan Tanner and his teammates. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Again, it's Taylor. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. On third and one, here's Young. And to find the open man, that's complete. And he is going to have the Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Kind of say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. First and 10, Taylor now. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 71 yards rushing here for Taylor. He's got a first down. Young off the bootleg. Short throw, that's hard in by Mayer. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Second and five. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he's going to take this down close to a first down at the Browns' 26. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Now Young. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. And instead, it's fourth down. Now Young. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Texans first down. Good work there on fourth and one. They get seven to move the chains. The play fake. Now Young. And it is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Travis Kelsey from 19 yards away as his guys are able to extend their lead. But with that touchdown pass, I'm going to bring up a point from earlier in the year. Some of the fans were saying, when do we turn to the rookie? Well, he's looking pretty good right now. Yeah, I love the fact that the fans are bringing that up. 
because I'm not the head coach. Okay, <laughs> so he's got to deal with it. But I think it's a legitimate question. With the way their season is going, I think now is the time to turn the page and let him get some starts before this season is over. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. Last time I remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. The offense on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and nine. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Taking it about the 36. Personal foul. Face man. Defense. So a tug on the face mask, and that's going to cost him 15 yards. And sometimes it'll go unnoticed, but that one, pretty obvious for everyone to see. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. On the counter, it's Taylor. And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Line. Young to throw it. And his throw is incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. That throw by Young incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. Heading out as a Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. Uh, I would say they went three and out last time, but actually they didn't even get to three and out. Still a strange decision to us here in the booth. Yeah, let's hope they don't go one and out, but maybe, possibly, let's try and try and pick. Yeah, nothing but green grass here. No field. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one good for 37 yards. It's just called, as we just saw it right there, a breakdown defensively. Seems like no one went with the tight end, and no one really did. Had all sorts of space in the middle of the field. Yeah, everyone else was covered, but he was not. Big play results. First down now, but that clock rolling. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives him a chance to regroup. Relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Mahomes to throw once more. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. The long-time vet, Jamie Collins, the man to bring him down. 
And he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they got no chance to win this game. Mahomes used to moving quickly in college, trying to get his guys to the line. He'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And this Texans defense stands tall. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. Doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez Scantling. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. And Young's throw there incomplete. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. York able to send this one through, and that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here. Let's throw in a broadcaster cliche, shall we? Both teams looking for a gift on Christmas Eve. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in everyone to this Christmas Eve edition of the EA Sports halftime report. So let's get to it. a rookie in that first half the number one overall pick Bryce Young he came on after a slow start to fire two second quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission all right coach thank you and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three the Browns gonna see the football first but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports Andre Roberts now to return it and he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. This offense and John o. Smith getting set to begin another possession. And the previous drive put him up over 1,000 yards for the season. So now it's what you like to refer to, my friend, as gravy time, right? It is. I mean, he's done it, right? He's accomplished the goal. So the good players, they relax and all they bask in it. They think, this is okay, we've done what we set out to do. The great players decide to push that number as high as they possibly can. I don't expect him to have any let up in his game the rest of the way. Great thing if you're on the opposite side. He's such a weapon. He just opens things up for the other guys around him. Yeah, if you're the opposite receiver, you should expect a few passes to come your way too because I've got to kick coverage in his direction. Mahomes now on first down. And that went to the right side and incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long. And you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Mahomes firing complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 45-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 45-yard line. Now it's Mahomes again. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. And he gets 
gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. They're not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mucked that down for a win, and the defense is coming. That was third down throw, but he misses the target incomplete. Coverage is awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion to bring up fourth down. This is just outside the right upright. It's no good, and this will remain a two-touchdown game. This is always a tricky angle for a right-footed kicker because he's trying to draw it to the center of the uprights, but instead he pushes it to the right, and it's no good. Here's the Texans' offense now, reading for their first possession of the second half. Now a chance to take advantage of that missed field goal. First and ten way up at the 37. Out of the gun, it's Young. That one finds Pierce right side. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. They give to Taylor out of the gun. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry, there he goes left side. And they wind up getting this one all the way down inside the track. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. Another big play right there. And this is where as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here can put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. From the shotgun, it's Young. Over the middle, hauled in by Pierce. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. Ball on the 8, second and 2. Now a handoff, Taylor with it. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top ten. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might want to go ahead and run it anyway because that's your strength. And Taylor, I don't think he got there. No, he did not. Unable to break free, and he's marked short. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Woods, the receiver, in motion left. They'll run for it. It's Taylor. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And this Browns defense stands tall. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Again, it's Penny. And tackled down after.
after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Work in the middle of the field, he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Browns first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Inside handoff, Penny. And yeah, he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. Let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And he is caught. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Now a run straight ahead with Edmonds. Takes it to about the 37. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A good pickup there, 21 yards. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 30-yard line. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Uh, second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Cook hands that time to knock that one away. It sure looked like a short touchdown, but he able to get a good break on the football and force the incompletion. To throw, it's Mahomes. This is caught. It's Cooks. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now for the first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run forward with Penny. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. Mahomes now to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Now you've got third and goal coming up. And can you imagine being in that over time? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this job. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. I know they're going through all the possibilities right now, but the truth of the matter is a field goal doesn't do them a ton of good. It'd still be a two-score game, so to me, go for it. Go for it boldly. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They'll run with Penny. And they'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Rashad Penny taking it in from two yards out. And the Browns go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. 
That's a tale of two drives right there, CD. The other guys go for it on fourth and turn the ball over on downs. Yet we see the same situation the other way. This time, fourth and goal yields a touchdown run. And Brandon, as much basketball as you do, you know oftentimes teams point to the guy who gave the assist on a basket. This offense ought to turn and point to their defense for giving them that opportunity with their fourth down stop to set this one up for a touchdown. Masada return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Off the play fake, Young. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. And movement here by one of the Texans up front. In comes the flag. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Now again to Taylor. They'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down at the 28. We're off to the fourth quarter here on Christmas Eve. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Houston. The Texans on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This is third and 14. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll be fourth down. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Houston. To return is Roberts. So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And the Browns will take over first and 10. The Browns offense heading out as we take a look at the playoff picture in the AFC. And for them right now, not a done deal. They are holding down one of the final three wild card spots with two weeks to go. And, you know, there are others, Charles, kind of nipping at their heels a bit. And Brandon, it's always worth keeping in mind, and I have to keep writing it down for myself. Remember, it's seven teams in each conference now making the playoffs. So that brings more important games to the end of the season. So in theory, more teams alive for postseason birth later in the year. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Got a man, it's Brown. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Penny up the middle. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now they'll run it again with Penny. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Mahomes going to throw. Touchdown. Joe Reed with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Browns are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Alonso looked to add the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. That time, a six-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. 
Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. For the returner, Trey Tucker, going to bring this one out. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Now Houston's offense taken over again. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scambling. An excellent way to start the drive there. 18 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. He'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. Well, they always talk about playing great team defense, and that was an excellent example right there. Everyone on assignment, no one in the wrong spot, everyone filling their gaps. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. 85 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. We all looked at the home run hitter in the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And just one yard here from the 49 to the 50. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. On second down, this is Harris. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Snap count through the defense off. Five-yard penalty. Still third down. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Young down. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Browns will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. Well, it's not the first time we've seen him give one up here during his rookie season. And in this case, zone coverage forced the mistake. He's made some strides week to week in how he's handling the different type of coverages that he's seeing. But clearly, there's some growing still to do. The football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. The heck of a move. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second down at a yard. Here's Mahomes to throw. On the screen, this is Edmonds. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A good play there is the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Penny, the first down carry. And he's got it to about the 40. He's tackled at the 40 yard line. Second and six. The toss running left. This is Penny. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11 yard pickup. First down, Cleveland. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. 
And now we've got flags down. Looked like one of the Browns might have moved. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Draw play. Edmonds. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. From here, it would be a 45-yard field goal attempt, certainly in range, but they'll look for more yardage on third down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that will be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. The kick by Lutz is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And he returns this to the 22. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. And they really need to forget about their last time out, the turnover that led to a field goal. So now they try to regroup, trailing in the final quarter. Obviously, they'd love a touchdown, but three would suffice. And the result here, a pickup of eight, leaves them with two to go on second down. Two yards to go, second down. They give to Taylor out of the gun, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. This is first and ten. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Short game, short game, last two plays. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely, this defense are saying go right ahead with those. Young. Gonna be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. He was prevented by Patrick Peterson. Now Young. Got his man, it's Woods. And he is gonna have the Texans first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Young to throw. Complete the tight end Kelsey. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Meanwhile, Young's throw pulled in by Woods. Now second and four. Here's Young. And across the middle, and Valdez Scantling has it. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. As a stopper with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's across for a touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. What an outstanding drive right there to take the lead, and also, Charles, didn't leave the last position with a whole lot of time on the clock. Yeah, I like the way that you're viewing this because they did a tremendous job to put themselves in a position to win, but they can't celebrate just yet. They've got to clamp down on any big plays and force them to use up those timeouts without making any headway. Extra point by York is up and good. And it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Browns drive about to get started. And last time able to get three. 
It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. One final try for Mahomes. That throw right side here going to be incomplete. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So for Houston, their hopes of a winning campaign stay alive as they move to 7-8 and eight now on the year. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for Cleveland, it's a bad time of year to take a loss like this as they drop to 10-5. and five. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.